are going to see the chance of showers, although we have to wait until Saturday. And with that, it also actually could be severe. So something uh, we're keeping an eye out for you, to, obviously, to keep you nice and safe. Normally, this time of year, about 89 degrees. Yesterday, a high of 95. We are going to predominantly see exactly what we saw Thursday replay for us on Friday. We will start to introduce changes by Saturday with the arrival of a cold front. And the Storm Prediction Center is actually saying, hey, there is a level one risk of severe weather. The main threat, though, is in fact going to be damaging winds. That means up to 50 miles per hour. Also dealing with brief heavy rain, isolated flooding, a concern as well. So today, no problems. I think only a 10% chance of rain. Really, though, keeping our eye out for Saturday, even into Sunday a little bit. Currently heading out the door in Ellicott City, you're at 73 degrees. Out over toward Haverty Grace, 74. And in Jarrettsville, you're also looking at 73 degrees. We do have that cold front. You can see it posing right now. I'm uh, moving throughout the Great Lakes, and that is what's going to stir up the atmosphere. So for today, where we just call for isolated showers, that front gets closer to us so much so that on Saturday, you can see the band of yellow stretching all the way from, say, West Virginia up through portions of Maine. Could be dealing with some strong to severe storms. I do think that we could see close to an inch of rain in some locations. And on Sunday, as that front moves through the area, it's still going to linger in the general region. So scattered showers are still possible, although I don't think we're going to see severe weather for us heading into Sunday. Let's break it down for you hour by hour for today. One o'clock, partly cloudy skies, right? It's in the mid 90s. It feels like triple digits. That 10% rain chance coming in at around 130. Very isolated showers, though, and even possibly by 545 hanging out over towards a white marsh. Now watch things change though as we head through Saturday. We start out the day wonderful. That's the day maybe you want to go for a little bit of a hike. Come back in though by 2 o'clock. You can see some thunderstorms beginning to fire up, maybe closer out over toward northeast. And then by 415 from Severn, stretching out toward Annapolis. And this is the pocket that could actually turn severe. And when we get through the evening hours, still lingering showers, I think that's going to carry over into Sunday as well. So for Baltimore today by 9 a.m., already the mid 80s by 11 o'clock 91 degrees you can see the clouds trying to increase throughout the day but really looking uh, pretty out there but you'll need your sunglasses for sure by three o'clock 94 degrees 5 p.m that is the same number there as well fast forward to saturday right you're gonna go to the pool i know you are pack up on the extra sunblock 11 o'clock 89 degrees already by one o'clock into the lower 90s and it's going to be even more muggy. The dew point climbs into the low to mid 70s, so it's going to feel closer to about 105. We could even see heat advisories posted. And by 3 p.m., 5 p.m., there you go with that chance of thunderstorms. We're calling for about a 50% chance of it, so it is going to be significant staying with us all the way through the evening hours into Sunday. 70 forecast for you, 96 degrees for us today. We'll go to 93 on Saturday. That will be the most humid day. Sunday, we cool down 87 thanks to that cold front that moves through the area. And then look at this temperature say what below average by Monday only around 87 degrees when typically we're into the upper 80s. We also should see a drying trend heading into next work week. Over to you.